welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back. So tonight's video, um, we're going to have a little look um, at updating ESXi 8.0. Um, I think over the last couple of weeks, really, uh, well, certainly September, October, uh, we've been um, somewhat preoccupied uh, with the rate of which VMware vCenter server updates um, have been coming out, um, A, B, C, and, and then D. Um, and in between all that, um, another couple of updates uh, came out from Broadcom. Um, on the 19th of September, uh, ESXi 8.0 update 3B, uh, or what is being called ESXi 8.03 P04 um, dropped, um, and that's build 24280767. Um, in the EE lab here, uh, we're running ESXi 8.03, referred to as ESXi 8.0 update 3, which is build 24022510. But I just want to draw your attention to another update which has dropped, which has confused no end of people. And that's what's being called ESXi 8.0D version ESXi 8.0.0D released on the 7th of October 2024, which has a build number of 24118393. Now, some people have actually basically got a little bit confused and think that that is the latest patch version they need to be on when they're on the release track 8.03, and it's not. Um, ESXi 8.0D um, is for organizations that are still on the ESXi 8.0.0 release track. So we have... A number of re release tracks for ESXi 8.0. We have the 8.00 release track. We have the 8.01 release track. We have the 8.02 release track and the 8.03 release track. So we have several different release tracks. And the ESXi 8.0, ESXi 8.0.0D, um, was released for people, customers, organizations that are on 8.00, and for whatever reason at the moment, they can't update to 8.01, 8.02, or 8.03. If you try to boot your server and try to update it with 8.0D, which was released on the 7th of October 2024, uh, you will find that you get an error message that says something like you can't downgrade your server because that's effectively really what you're doing. So hopefully that addresses that. Um, don't ask me why. Um, if you want to know why, then if you have a support contract with Broadcom, then I suggest you open an SR and you ask them what ESXi 8.0.0D is. But it's not the latest update to patch an ESXi host, which is on 8.03. If you want to patch an 8.03 host, then you apply 8.03 P04. And that's what we're going to do tonight in this video. Now, I would normally use VLCM. Um, and I have been saying in a lot of my videos, really, that if you want to remove all the heavy lifting and you've got a lot of ESXi hosts in your environment, uh, then use VLCM. That's what it's for. I'm not going to use VLCM today, and I'm not going to use VLCM in the next two videos that I'm going to do either. Um, so we're going to update ESXi 8.03, build 24022510. So my host here, ESXi 003, uh, which is currently on build 24022510. Um, we're going to update um, that host today. And we're going to do it by using what I think really is the old fashioned way of putting the CD ROM or the DVD or a flash drive that's been um, 
created with Rufus or Ventoy or other third party tools are available. Um, boot your server um, and we will go through that mechanism of upgrading an ES6i server. Um, these procedures are obviously exactly the same for 6.5, 6.7 and 7.0 as well, providing, of course, that you've obviously got the right media. So that's the way that we're going to do the upgrade this evening. In the next two videos, we're going to do the ESXi host in the dirty way uh, from the SSH shell. Um, we're going to basically do the update from the Internet. If, of course, you haven't got access directly to the Internet from your ESXi host, then we will do it the old fashioned way by obtaining the depot file and we'll do an, an offline update as well. So that's how we're going to do our updates in the EE lab. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to uh, shut down and restart uh, my ESXi 3. But the very first thing I'm going to do before I do that, which is really good, um, which is good practice, is put it in the maintenance mode. But I noticed here it's already got a big yellow exclamation mark. Um, so uh, there's no need for me to put it into maintenance mode. It already is in maintenance mode. So I'm basically just going to say uh, shut down. Um, in fact, actually, I will actually basically say shut down um, rather than reboot. Um, so that actually basically gives me a moment to basically actually put the old fashioned CD in the CD-ROM drive. So just one moment. OK, so we've restarted um, that host um, and this is now booting um, off the cd-rom i'm not quite sure whether or not that you'd ever really noticed or thought about it um, but when the esxi installer um, is actually um, reading those modules off uh, the cd-rom or off the flash drive it's actually reading them into into ram into memory and then it's actually executing them from memory. Um, and it's the same when you actually turn on and boot a VMware hypervisor, a VMware VCR hypervisor ESXi. The same thing is happening that it's reading those modules from the install operating system partition. And they're all being read and executed into memory. So... There's not really a lot of read and there's not really an awful lot of writes that are actually basically going on with the ES6i operating system. Uh, however, later versions have subtly changed that. Um, so this is really the reason why um, we've moved away um, from um, USB and SD cards uh, as a means of the installation um, partition or media uh, for booting um, VMware, vSphere, hypervisors, or ESXi. Uh, so whilst that's actually basically booting, I thought I'd put on another shirt tonight. Um, so this is my uh, Try Had Me Advent of Cyber 2024 uh, in endorsing uh, those guys that do a fantastic job um, of gamifying hacking. I think that's really how I can put it. And I've been doing the advent of cyber now for, uh, I, well, I think I've been doing the advent of cyber since they started them. And, and basically, quite simply, what the advent of cyber is all about. And it's completely free. Um, so you can join um, Try Hack Me um, for the advent of cyber, um, which, of course, will start um, on December the 1st, which is the start of advent. And you can uh, participate um, in basically the Hacker Day. Um, for the days of Advent in December. Um, and not only that, um, as I said, it's gamified. Um, if you're thinking about cybersecurity or you already know a little bit of cybersecurity, then you can actually basically take part in those hacks. Um, and I think, like every year, uh, Try Hack Me also um, have uh, free swag or a competition um, if you're actually basically doing those um, advent uh, of cyber uh, hacks every day, uh, then at the end of the 24 days, um, then you're all entered basically into a pot and randomly picked to win prizes. Um, so if you want to try for some free swag, uh, then certainly advent of cyber 2024 um, is just around the corner, uh, starting the 1st of December. Um, so um, 
I look forward to uh, to seeing you there. It's um, as I said, I find it um, very entertaining, and um, I think I have a Hackney Try Hackney streak now of about three hundred and twenty something days. I think I'm about. I think the first of December. I think when the advent of cyber rolls around, I think I will have a three hundred and sixty five day hacking badge. Uh, because I've been um, hacking and doing the rooms at uh, Try Hack Me every day for uh, almost almost a year. Um, so, um, as I said, and it's free. It's not going to cost you anything. You know, they do have a premium subscriber model uh, to which I do actually now participate in. I joined the program, I think, in about April this year uh, because I get an awful lot out of the program. Um, and every day doing these challenges, um, you know, basically keeps the brain and the grey matter uh, sharp. Anyway, so back to the VMware EXXI 8.03 installer. So if you've installed ESXi before, this is going to be very, very familiar with you um, and a little bit boring. So we're going to hit basically enter. We're going to accept the license agreement. We've spoken about license agreement at EULAs before. So I'm going to hit F11. Uh, it's going to go off and scan all available devices to try and find your ESXi version uh, and your storage media. So I want to install it to our 40 gig um, drive because I know that's where I've installed ESXi. And the installer is intelligent enough to actually basically find an existing version and select upgrade for us automatically, which is what I want to do. Um, or we can do install, but we don't want to do install because install is going to basically create a brand new version and overwrite the version to that. So we don't want to do that. So an upgrade is what we want to do. So I'm going to click upgrade. Um, again, it's basically just going to warn me about the CPU on this host may not be supported in a future version release. Uh, yeah, I'm completely happy about that. I know that, uh, you know, times times are changing. Uh, and I'm going to hit F11 to upgrade. Um, whilst it's doing that, I'm just going to grab my last espresso of the evening. Mm. And in fact, it's still warm, so that's even better. And, um, and I'm very, very happy today as well, because the replacement part for my Hag Balan Vital kneeling chair has arrived. And you're probably actually thinking to yourself, what the hell has he got there? A kneeling chair. You know, what sort of nonsense is that? Well, some people basically have talk about daily drivers uh, in terms of their daily driver laptop or their daily driver mouse or their daily driver keyboard. Well, this has been my daily driver office chair since 1990. Um, so this really is um, an old, old friend. And... Um, Luckily, today, I found a company in the Netherlands that were replacing or uh, well, creating uh, new replacement parts for this particular chair that uh, broke a number of months ago. And I thought that we were going to have to part ways with it. OK, so that's the upgrade done. Um, all I've got to do is basically just um, remove the installation media. Um, so that's the, the CD-ROM in our case. So it's a bit old, uh, a bit old fashioned here. We'll remove that CD-ROM. And um, and uh, I'll hit uh, enter to reboot, and uh, that's it. And we'll wait for uh, the server to, to boot back up again. And whilst that's booting, I'm going to have another slurp of coffee, and you can sit and watch. Um, ESXi 8.03, and uh, I can confirm there, looking at the VMware release build, it's now been updated to 2.4.2.8.0.7.6.7. All done. So that's it. So that's all there is to it. Um, with using uh, CD-ROM, uh, DVD, uh, flash drive, USB drive, um, created using Rufus or Ventoy. And of course you could, 
Um, you know, you could use uh, a out of band management technology like BMC, ILO or IDRAC, uh, and you could insert that virtual CD ISO uh, into the drive. And uh, that is a mechanism uh, that you're going to be able to use uh, to. Oh, if I may just switch back and log in as root uh, into our host, uh, then we're going to see that it's still in maintenance mode. We've not taken it out of maintenance mode. And we can see that the version that we're on is ESXi 8.0 U3B 24287678. Uh, which is the same version that we downloaded uh, here. So there you go. How to upgrade uh, ESXi 8.0.3 uh, to uh, 8 ESXi 8.0 U3B that was released on the 7th of September uh, 2024. So I haven't got, really got anything to say um, other than thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up on Experts Exchange and endorse it, or a thumbs up and a like on YouTube. Uh, if you're not currently a subscriber, then please, please, please subscribe uh, and help me uh, build up those um, numbers. And, uh, and then you'll get um, alarms of new videos that have been created and uploaded to uh, Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, so, toodle pip, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. And goodbye.